And we're back. Welcome back to Designs 1. I know it's been a while, but some good news came out today. The NCAA is now allowing students and uh, athletes to make money off of their likeness and images. Um, so we all know that this is what was keeping the uh, college video games from uh, basically reappearing and, and coming out since 2013. Um, NCAA football 14 came out in 2013 um, and we haven't seen it since. And the same goes for uh, the basketball games as well. So because the NCAA is kind of opening it up and allowing uh, students to make money, um, it'll be interesting to see how long that takes uh, video game developers to start recreating, uh, and especially EA Sports, recreating their football game. So in light of this news, I wanted to go ahead and get a head start and create a custom cover for NCAA football. Um, so as of right now, I've just got a template uh, built, but um, because the new consoles aren't even out yet, I'm going to have to make some tweaks to this. Um, as of right now, I've got the PS4 and Xbox One uh, top bars or headers across the top. So obviously those are going to be, need to be adjusted in the future when the new systems come out. Um, or, I mean, if you prefer to use my top bar right here, you can do that too. So I figured I'd go ahead and release this now, and um, you guys can download it. It'll be in the description of this video. And any updates I need to make to it in the future, I'll go ahead and just update that link in the description so by the time you see this it might already be updated so like I said just check the description of the video and um, if you're interested go ahead and download it and I'm gonna go ahead and walk through um, all the uh, groups that I've got created it'll be a PSD file which you will need to open up in Adobe Photoshop um, so, obviously you're going to need some Photoshop or web uh, graphics design experience. I can't really walk you through some of that stuff. Um, there's millions of other Photoshop tutorials and custom cover tutorials out there on the internet. I've even got some on my website if you want to go, or on my uh, YouTube channel if you want to go back and look at some of my older ones um, but anyway this is just the template video so as you can see right here I've got Photoshop open and as of right now we've we're just calling it NCAA football 21 we don't know what it, when it's coming out if it's gonna come out yet but um, well that's gonna be easily editable I'll show you that here in just a second, but we'll start at the top. The top bar here, if you expand the top bar, you can see that we've got the Designs 1 header up there, but you can easily just click that little eyeball. That'll take it off, and you can see the, the PS4 headers up there, as well as the Xbox One header, so whichever one you prefer. And then below that, we've got the middle logo. So that's the center logo here. We've got my logo, Designs 1. If you want the EA Sports one, you can use that. And then that's just the ring there by itself. So that was that. And then you've got your Everyone logo, the bottom left. Um, you've got the EA, or sorry, the NCAA Football 21 text layer. And if you guys 
you get this and it's already the next generation you can always take the one out put a two there and three four vice versa you know it's super easy to edit that and then under that we got the college football playoff logo I'm just assuming they're gonna have something like that in this game hopefully um, so we got the white version and then the black version depending on what you use for a background under that we've got the NCAA logo down here and we got the featuring ESPN logo down here again you can turn these off and on if you want them or not um, and then you got your player layer there and I'll show you just a second what it looks like with a player there you have got the background glow which is just kind of lightens up the background gives it a nice little shine to it and then you've got a dark background there's a light background here and then I'll show you these here when I add the player layer or there's just a solid background if you want to add just plain color in the background so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the player layer in this right now I've got Adrian Martinez from Nebraska so you can kind of get an idea of what this would look like. I'm going to go ahead and change the middle logo to the EA Sports logo. And then say you wanted PS, the PS4 version. There, you got a logo right there. You would come over here, save it out, and then print it or whatever you want to do with it. Just as easy as that. And then as far as like a background, if you wanted to customize the background, um, you can turn off these ones here by clicking the little eyeball and use the light one. I've kind of made this really quickly. It's got like paint and watercolor. There's some more. I took this one so it would look similar to like what the Madden cover looks like right now so you can just fool around with the the background there and get it to way the way you want it and then save it out and print it so that's that um, just wanted to show you guys what I've got going so far um, I'm not going to be doing any requests this takes a lot of time to edit these type of things so I just don't have the time to do that but I will uh, be able to help you guys out over social media if you follow me on my uh, Twitter Instagram or even in the comments below shoot me a message and I'll see what I can do to help you out um, also the social media links are in the description of the video too so go ahead and check those out and uh, add me on there. So let me know what you guys think of this. Or if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. And uh, I'll be back soon.